Today is the first day of spring, and besides changing the batteries in your weather radio, that means it's time for change, and change comes for everyone, including me. <laughs> I need to start exercising more and going on a diet. Oh, won't that be fun? Hey, let's talk about it. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. There comes a time in someone's life when they need to make some changes. Many people at the beginning of every new year make a resolution to uh, lose weight, exercise more, or, you know, something along those lines. But I try not to make those kind of resolutions. They tend to start off strong, but usually end up not getting done. So that brings us to today. <laughs> I've made a decision. I need to, oh, sorry, correction. I'm going to start exercising more, improve my diet, and make some other changes in my life. A lot of things have happened over the last few years that have led me to this decision. Well, I'm getting older, <laughs> aren't we all? I'm getting fatter, let's be honest here. <laughs> I'm getting slower. It's been harder to get some physical tasks done. I've been depressed. And the list keeps going on and on and on. I've got to make a change. So first up, I'm going to be exercising more. I'm not sure what exercise route I'm going to take yet, but I'm going to start off slow. Now, I'm not starting at zero, but I'm close to there. <laughs> I already have a start on this by using a standing workstation at the office. I did a whole episode on using a standing workstation a few months back, so please go check it out. So that means I'm not sitting around all day at the office working. I'm up and I'm moving around for the most of it. But you know what? That's it. I haven't done much more beyond that. And that's what's got to change. Since it's warmed up a bit, I've actually have no excuse at all to not go for a good walk around the neighborhood. Next, I have to improve my diet a bit. Again, I'm not starting at zero. I'm already on a sugar-free diet. But I really haven't been watching what I've been eating. Too many of the dreaded hamburger... Too many in-between meal snacks. That's all got to go. <laughs> and there are other lifestyle changes I'm making, such as, you know, no more alcohol. I wasn't much of a drinker anyway, so that's an easy decision. <laughs> I'm going to bed at a more reasonable hour. Got to sleep some more. Um, I'm working to cut out as much stress as I can in my life. Done a lot of that already. But I've also got to work some more on my mental well-being as much as my physical one. So there's all that to do. <laughs> it's not going to be easy, but it's got to be done. <laughs> so the very next thing I'm going to be doing, practically right after I'm done with this podcast, is create a list of goals I want to meet. And that's kind of why I'm bringing it up here in the podcast. I just told all of you I'm going to be doing all of this. Now I kind of have to. <laughs> So the next time we get together, I'll share a list of my goals with you, and we'll go from there. Wish me luck. And now the top five excuses I gave to not exercise this winter. Number five. It's too cold. Number four. My knee hurts. Number three. Oh, I kind of feel a cold coming on. Number two. Well, come on, it's football season. And the number one reason I gave to not exercise this winter is... Meh. Today, March 20th, is the first day of spring. And you know what that means, my fellow Oklahomans? That's right. It's time to put fresh batteries in your weather radio. Storm season is just around the corner. Even though you can get great weather information from an app on your phone... It's best to have an external source for weather alerts, especially here in tornado-prone Oklahoma. If you don't have a weather radio, get one. Stay weather aware and be safe, everyone.
Did you know we have our own cafe press store? Of course you did. I mention it all the time. <laughs> oh, wait, you're new here. Sorry. Did you know we have our own cafe press store? There you can purchase a t-shirt, coffee mug, and other great items with the Blog Oklahoma podcast artwork on it. So please just head on over to cafepress.com slash blog Oklahoma podcast. I've added even more great music to the Blog Oklahoma bonus playlist. There is now over seven hours of music for you to enjoy. You can listen to the playlist on Spotify and on YouTube. I have links to them and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. And thank you for listening to the Blog Oklahoma podcast. I'm happy to announce, as of March 20th, 2016, Blog Oklahoma has 901 registered Oklahoma bloggers. Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time.